Today, I'm gonna pretend I know exactly what I'm doing when it comes to body work. When in reality, I know, well, <laughs> next to nothing. In the last video, I showed you that I bought this Black Series body kit for the C63 saloon. Now, I've not seen many saloon C63s with a Black Series body kit on, but we're about to try and see if we can make it happen. Now, the body kit comes with loads of different parts and it should be enough to make the C63 look sort of whole again after the accident. We've got a front bumper, front wings, rear arches, side skirts, and a rear bumper as well. All of which are much wider and much more aggressive looking than the stock C63. I'd love to show you a stock C63 bumper front end, but well, mine didn't even come with one. Yes, it feels like we're skipping 101 stages when rebuilding this C63. There's the airbag that still needs to be replaced with the clock spring. There's wiring which leads to absolutely nowhere. And there's still a fair amount of cosmetic damage, like this damage to the chassis there. But we have this Black Series body kit and I really want to get this thing on. So after a little hiccup, I've got to start replacing all the parts that are no longer needed, like the original side skirts. And now the driver's side is side skirtless. After removing the side skirt, it exposes that full chassis leg all the way to the top to the part that's actually bent in a little bit, but we'll get onto that later. Now I can remove the passenger side side skirt, which is actually damaged, so it needed replacing anyway, along with the passenger side wing, which is also damaged. There's just one hidden bolt left to remove to get the wing off and it's just inside the passenger door. And with that removed, I can remove the old wing and we should have our blank canvas ready to put on the body kit. But before we do that, I thought it was a good time to start replacing the horns. And here are the new ones, which easy enough, just go straight back in replace of the old ones. So here it is, we sort of have our blank canvas ready to leave our mark on it. Which kind of reminds me what it's like to build a website using Squarespace, who have sponsored today's video. From websites to online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build and run your business. Let's imagine this Black Series body kit is the part that makes your business your business. For example, this wing is your logo. This side skirt is some of the pictures of your previous work. And this bumper is a video that you made. I hope this is making sense. Now, all laid out on the floor like this, it doesn't look like much, but when you pick all this up and put it all together and put it on a website, we're saying the C63 is a website in this instance, it's going to turn out to be something spectacular and something that you are so proud of. And it's also going to be seen by a lot of people. Now let me show you exactly how you could do that. Starting the website is easy because there's loads of templates to choose from. All you've got to do is find one which best suits your style. Once you've got your template, you can then just drag and drop your own photos in there. You can change text, edit buttons, add your own logo. It really is the all-in-one platform. So when you need a website, go to squarespace.com or just click the link in the description box below. And when you're ready to launch, use code Matt Armstrong and that's going to give you 10% off your first website or domain name. Now I imagine fitting this kit is not going to be as easy as creating a website, but I'm going to start off with the front bumper. Well actually, before the front bumper, I've got a grill. Now again, this grill is another example of AMG tax. The C63 grill is not compatible with any other C classes, so I can't get just a cheap C class grill. I had to buy C63 one. This one is second hand. And as you can see around the edges, it's a little scuffed up. It's not the best condition, but I paid £269 for that second hand grill. It's absolutely insane. And to top that, it's not even the right grill. We need to do some modifications to it. So this sensor on the front is for the active cruise control. It senses how far away the car is from in front here so it can keep the same distance. Now with this grill, it won't work. You're blocking the sensor with this. So I actually had to buy a badge here, which has sort of like a mirror image or mirror finish or something like that, which the sensor can actually see through, which has to go on the front of that grill to work. 42 pounds and 99 P. But I got myself into this car, so there's only one way of getting out of it, and that is to fix this thing and get it back on the road. Now, replacing the old badge was pretty easy. The old one just literally unclips, and then the new one, which is compatible with the sensor, just clips back into place. This isn't gonna be a final fit on the bumper because everything is still gonna come all back off for painting or wrapping whatever I decide to do. I'm gonna take the headlight up just to avoid any scratches when putting the bumper onto the car, and then it's time to line up the Black Series bumper. And you know what? 
it's not too bad. How much better does this front bumper look already? Now, it's obviously not in the right position. It does need to move up a tiny bit, you know, to match the actual bonnet there. But there's no actual fixings on the top, which is weird. I don't know whether I'm missing something on there. The grill needs to come a little bit further forward, which we can do. I've not like fixed everything in place as yet because obviously things need to come off so I can wrap or paint as well. But actually looking at the gap between the headlight on both sides is pretty much bang on. Because when I let go, it does drop down. When we come over to this side here, we should have a little gap in the front arch. So I'm hoping that when I bolt it up, it should just tuck it up nicely. But we'll find out when I put the wing on. Let's get the wing on. Now on the actual Black Series, the front is wider by 40 mil, comparing it to the stock C63. And on the rear, it's wider by 79 mil. So after fitting this kit, we're definitely gonna have to get some wider wheels to fill those arches, but I'm sure we'll get to that point. And as you guys know, fitting fiberglass body kits are definitely not straightforward. They are so rigid and need a bit of body work to get perfect. So I'm just cracking on with this the best I can. And I'm just gonna nut and bolt everything together as a first sort of test fit. And then we'll use the screw type rivets to bolt everything into place afterwards. So I had to remove the headlight just to make it a little bit easier, but it's not actually too bad on this edge here. You can see how aggressive it's actually looking, but we can perfect these a little bit better once we've got the rest of the kit on. Now there is actually something missing, which is stopping this from also sort of moving back. And that part we're missing is this. This clips onto the back of the original bumper. Hopefully it fits on the black series. It might work, it might not work. I've ordered a pair because, well, it was only a hundred quid off eBay. We're gonna put this on the back of the bumper and then hopefully Hopefully that should make the fitment a little bit better between the grill and the bonnet because well it looks like everything sort of clips into this. Wait just two seconds a certain part has arrived which we've been waiting for. The new clock spring. Now hopefully this is going to work and that will finish off all the airbags inside the car. Please work this time. Okay, all connected, the original steering wheel is on, we're not messing around with any aftermarket stuff at the minute. I just want to get it to work. Let's see if we have any power. Now we're still going to have faults on there because we probably need to reset it and we've still got the pyrotechnics fuse that we need to change. Let's see if the horn works first. <laughs> yes, first things first, horn is working. Second thing, have we, it seems... Please be working. Yes, we are working, <laughs> come on. Finally, something successful. Let's crack on with the body kit. So with the interior now pretty much done, we can move on to the driver's side. Now this is the side that took a big impact in the crash and caused a lot of chassis damage. Now at first I was debating on buying all the separate parts which were all spot welded together and replacing it all. But it turns out this long leg here runs all the way to the back of the car. So if we're going to fix this, it looks like it's got to go on a jig just to pull it out a tiny bit. But the good news is that we know that it's not bent any of the chassis because all the door lines up all fine. Door hasn't dropped in any way and the subframe bolts on with no issue. So I am going to fit the wing and proceed to fit the body kit now. But at some point I am going to have to take this to a frame shop to get that pulled out. But at the minute it shouldn't affect the way that anything bolts up to the car. Do you know what? It's actually not too bad. It, it's looking nice, it's looking nice, but there is some imperfections as expected with fiberglass. Now the hardest part about wings, bonnets, bumpers, that there's loads of parts where the panels actually meet. So you're gonna get panel gap all over the place. All I'm bothered about is that it's even all the way around. So I'm, I'm not too picky, but we want it to be not noticeable. The only thing I can see here is that it's a little bit closer at the bottom. And as we go up, it's slightly wider at the top here, but with a bit of filler and everything over the top, and then we can sort of make our own line ourselves. I don't think it should be too bad there. Now the actual line running along the bonnet is fairly consistent until we get to this point here, which is pretty big. Again, it's the same on this side, really big at the bottom 
and then it's nice and consistent all the way up here and all the way down there. Now the reason for that is because I feel the bumper is being pulled down and it does Actually, if you see this gap here, it does actually need to go up along with the headlight and everything. So I am still missing the panels which are at the back of the bumper, but all I've got to do is try and suss out how I can pull this bumper a little bit higher and then everything should all sit into place, which actually shouldn't be too bad. Now one thing that's just turned up is the ambient air temperature sensor, which measures the temperature outside the car. Now some of you guys had a theory that because this was unplugged and not going anywhere, the car goes into a sort of safety mode, which is why the coolant fan is running constantly. So I've just wired in a new plug and the air temperature sensor just to see if that'll work. Now I've got to pop both wheels on so I can roll it off the ramp ready for the next job. So I need to get the C63 off the ramp, then I can start putting the new side skirts on and then we can sort of look around like trying to perfect everything and all the fitment before we start moving on to the rear end. But one thing that will be interesting now is to see whether the coolant fan still runs all the time when the car's turned on. Well, apparently it goes into a safety mode because this ambient air temperature sensor wasn't plugged in, but now we've wired that in and plugged it in. But we still have the oil cooler uh, sensor which isn't plugged in and also the air conditioning doesn't have any aircon gas in there okay here we go is the fan gonna be running Jesus. okay so the fan is still on um, which means it's not the ambient air temperature thing it could be the aircon or it also could be the oil cooler I'm kind of thinking because that oil cooler is unplugged that's probably the main reason why it's gone into this sort of safety mode Anyway, let's get it off and get the side skirt on. As I've mentioned a hundred times before, this C63 is not gonna be a quick project. There's loads of things that we need to get through. But right now, it's the driver's side side skirt. Now with this one, I actually am gonna put a little push rivet in there just because it's gonna be really hard to nut and bolt this thing to the wing because you wouldn't get to the bolt underneath the side skirt. But eventually I will do that to the front bumper and also the wings as well. Here's a little rivet that you can see here, which an M6 bolt would go straight into. I'd get it outside just so we can get a second look at things in the actual daylight because it's a little bit tight and compact inside the unit and well, at the minute it still looks ridiculous okay so bear in mind this is the first fit it's gonna look ridiculous well it, we, we've got a blue bonnet and it's a black car but how cool does it look in satin black which is giving me ideas and it looks way more aggressive on the front look at the arches this is how it should have came out from factory we'll get onto the rear in a minute but the front arches look a lot better there's obviously still 999 things that we need to do to make the bumper fit perfectly but we're on the way we're on the road to doing it but now we have the side skirts on they fit up quite nicely against the front arch it, it fits nicely and then it sits against the door all the way down again which doesn't look bad and then you get to this part here and that steps out ready for the rear arches which are going to improve this rear a lot more in my opinion the, the rear of this car well it is got it's got no ass really now the new rear arch is actually bond onto the panel which is something that i've never done before so i need to get myself psyched up to that and then those arches meet into a wider and more aggressive rear bumper and i've also got to find a way on how i can mount this side skirt properly at the minute it's just sitting on the clips the old one used to clip into loads of different clips all the way down the side of the car now this one is just kind of sitting on so um yeah i've got to work that one out as well but the interior is looking done and Kind of complete now. So we still have a long, long way to go, but I didn't buy this expecting it to be a five minute job. But if you've enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.